Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I am here in Blackpool. It's early morning. It's around about quarter to eight in the morning, yes. And it's all over, the air show is all over and it's all um, uh, very quiet here on Blackpool Promenade. Not surprisingly at this time in the morning. Uh, it was buzzing here at the weekend, yeah. We had the air show village all the way from here. I'm just by Odyssey, by the way. Check it out, obviously that'll be going during the illuminations fairly soon. That's going to be the next thing, isn't it? The next big thing in Blackpool. We've actually got Ride the Lights, the Blackpool Lights first, a few days before the big switch on. I think that's on the 27th, Ride the Lights. Yeah, we can ride the bike up and down the promenade. I'll put a link in the description. So, yeah, so it's all going on in Blackpool. There's hardly ever a dull moment. And don't forget to subscribe. I hardly ever say that at the start of a video, but if you want to see the good, the bad, and the sometimes downright ugly of Blackpool. Get subscribing. Um, yeah, so in this video, I want to talk about what I film in Blackpool. And I pretty much film what I want. I don't have people telling me what to... Well, I do, actually. <laughs> I get a lot of people in the comments saying, Steve, I wish, I wish you'd film this, I wish you'd film that. Or they'd say, oh, I wish you never went down that street there. You made it look really, really bad, uh, things like that. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. But before we get on with it, I just want to show you what I can see out here. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the beach, shall we? Well, I can't believe it. There's somebody on the beach already. Kids playing on the beach, making sandcastles at quarter to eight in the morning. Yeah, it's amazing what you see in Blackpool. The tide is going out. <laughs> I think it's going out, isn't it? Yeah, I can tell by the, the sand. Got a metal detector over there. I think I need to get a metal detector, folks. What do you reckon? Let me know. I'll do a metal detecting video. But this is how it looks. Quarter to eight in the morning in Blackpool. I've decided to come down onto the beach. I thought, why not? Let's get down onto Blackpool Beach. I don't come down here that often, actually. Not as often as what I should do. So this is how it looks on Blackpool Beach. It's now about 10 to 8. It's getting on. Blackpool's waking up. Everything's going to be opening up soon. And I thought, let's have a little look on the beach and give you an idea what it's like. I know a lot of people who watch this channel say... They can't get to Blackpool and these videos just give them, well, I bring Blackpool to you, I suppose. Here's a look, look at that shot of the big one there. Can you see the, uh, can you see the big one through the, through the pier there? Look at that, that's a good shot, isn't it? Look at that with the big wheel and everything, yeah? Bit of a photograph going on there. There you go. Yeah, so this is just a quick video just to say that I pretty much film what I want. It's my channel and uh, that's the idea really. This is my channel. I can film pretty much what I want. Within reason, of course, you know, there are some things that I don't film. In fact, there was an incident on the Central Pier. You probably all heard about it last week and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bother even talking about it. Well, I did. I did mention it in the video, but I didn't, I didn't rush down to the Central Pier to go filming underneath and to show because there was a, uh, a lady that fell through the pier. She fell through a trap door, by the way, not, not through the actual pier itself. But I didn't bother filming that. Uh, I just thought, no, I don't, don't think I'll bother with that one. Uh, but there was someone having a pop the other week saying that uh, they don't like the way that YouTube promotes uh, videos that are, you know, like controversial, a bit like the, you know, the trouble we had in Blackpool the other week. And Blackpool is not a hotbed of protests or anything. It's not, we, we don't get anything like that in Blackpool. Uh, that was very, very unique to see that trouble. And it wasn't really a whole lot of trouble, to be honest. Uh, not, nothing like what happened in other places. Uh, and I, I covered it, you know, because it was quite well publicised. And I thought, you know what, let's go and have a look, but I'll stay back. I won't tried to get too much into the action and uh, you know there's a lot of people don't like 
to see stuff like that. They don't like the way that um, YouTube is kind of rewarding. There's a lot of channels doing very, very well out of covering things like that, really well. And you know, I could probably, if I wanted to, I could decide to say, well, you know what, I think I'll just go around the country filming all these riots, and I'll probably do, I'll probably clean up one time, but I don't want to do that, do I? I uh, this is where I live in Blackpool, so I cover everything in Blackpool and beyond. Yeah, so I do sometimes go quite far out for the channel. I don't just base myself here in Blackpool. Whenever I go away, I film as well. You know, this year, I have brought you some amazing things this year on this channel. I have brought total solar eclipse of the sun. I went to America to see a total solar eclipse. I also brought the aurora, the aurora borealis, yeah. And um, that was within about a month, I think, as well, yeah. Two amazing natural sites within a month. And I also went down to um, Gloucester to film the Seven Ball. The Amazing Seven Ball, you know that tidal surge that they have on the River Seven? Um, in fact, there's another one coming up in September, I think, yeah. So I went down to film that. So, yeah, there's a massive variety on this channel. I like to film a lot of natural things, you know. Natural events, you know, at sunsets. I like to film really, really bad weather. You know that, I'm into weather and all that. I'm an astronomer as well. I love the weather, I love astronomy. I've got another channel on that, by the way, astronomy, if you want to check it out, Starman, Starman Astro. I'll put a link to that in the description, if I remember. I might forget, actually. But, uh, yeah, so. So when it comes to filming stuff, certain things i won't film everything of course i mean i don't go chasing after police cars i don't go chasing ambulances it's not illegal by the way well it's not illegal to film pretty much anything in public within re i say within reason because i think if you're chasing someone around with a camera if you're following them around the streets and you, that's well it might not be illegal, but, well, you could get done for harassment or something like that. So I don't, I don't, I talk about beer monsters, but I don't go chase, I don't go looking for beer monsters to, to chase after. But, uh, yeah, we, we do get the odd beer monster. I want to turn the camera on. I want, I want to show you something just here in front of the RNLI. So we're just in front of the RNLI here. This is where the ramp is, where they bring the boats down. Look at this sand here, look. It looks like the sand has been sort of eroded here. That's amazing. And can you see over here, we've got a load of like stones. In. Look at that there, look. I wonder if this is a bit of a fault along here. What's that, that reflection of the tower? Hey, I'm always looking for a picture of me, aren't I? Look at that, there you go. Reflection of the tower in the water, there you go. That looked good at night, wouldn't it? But yeah. There you go, what do you think to that? It's just weird how the, the, the waves have kind of made this kind of like pattern here in the sand there. Look at that there. There you go. I'm just gonna step back off the beach now. We'll head back up to the promenade. Yeah, so when it comes to filming videos, I film pretty much what I want really. I don't have to answer to anybody. Um, I actually stopped watching the news. In fact, I stopped watching TV altogether uh, three years ago, yeah. And uh, I only ever see it when I go around to friends' houses. I'll go around to a friend's house and they'll have the news on and I'll watch it and I'll think, that's not right. Or I'll think, they're, they're not covering that the way I saw it, you know, stuff like that. I think they're trying to, uh, trying to steer us in a certain direction, the news. So, uh, I think you're a lot better watching YouTube because uh, um, YouTube uh, don't have the same kind of uh, uh, laws and you can really, really pick and choose what you want to see on YouTube whereas when you're watching the mainstream media it's all very, uh, not, not fake, I wouldn't say fake but I just think it's uh, kind of engineered a little bit to push us in a certain direction, which I don't think is a very good thing. So if you want to see real videos, watch YouTube and watch me. Here comes the tram for North Station. Let me know what you think of the... If you've been on the tram to North Station, 
little bit controversial, costs a lot of money. Let me know what you think if you've been on it. Is it all right? Have they managed to sort it out yet? Or is it still, they still got teething problems sorting out these trams that go to North Station. There's someone sleeping on one of these concrete benches. Oh, look at that there, imagine sleeping on there. God, it's gonna be rock hard, isn't it? Oh, well, at least it wasn't uh, a bad night last night, but it is getting a little bit breezy at the moment. And I think it's gonna rain later, but this is how it looks at the foot of Blackpool Tower, at the stroke of eight o'clock. Very quiet compared to the weekend. So there you go, I'm gonna leave it there now. Just a quick video for you, just to let you know that uh, no one tells me what to film. <laughs> yeah, so I don't answer to anybody. I don't, I don't have a boss, you know. I suppose you could say that YouTube are my boss in a way, but uh, they don't tell me what to film. Uh, there are some videos that you do do. There are, I've done some controversial videos, you know, in my time, and uh, I've had a couple demonetized. That's what they do. When YouTube don't like what a creator does, or they don't like the content, they'll demonetize it. So that's their way of kind of policing, policing it, I suppose, in some ways. We have to kind of censor ourselves, in a way. That's the way that it works, but uh, that's the way it is nowadays, yeah. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see lots of videos of Blackpool, obviously, and beyond, just don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more, do you want to see more dark videos? Because I haven't really done that many of those for a while, have I? You know, around some of the dodgy back streets and all that sort of thing. <laughs> not done that for a while. Well, I haven't been able to, because it's not been dark enough, but uh, it's starting to get a bit darker now. So hopefully I can get back pounding those uh, streets again but anyway that's it for this video i hope you like it let me know what you think in the comments if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one